You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. Anna, we are getting so close to the mm -hmm. Tokyo Olympics. You can kind of feel everything starting to ramp up yes. excitement. And a big part of that is because we have so many Wildcats that mm -hmm. are going there to compete. That's right. One of whom is Pete Wetzler, who will be competing for Zimbabwe in the 100 meter freestyle. Here's my conversation with him. There are several UK athletes competing at the upcoming Tokyo Games. Many like you for different countries. You'll be competing for Zimbabwe. How cool is that? Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a dream come true, really. Uh, a lot of hard work. It's been amazing, uh, amazing journey. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about Zimbabwe and what it was like growing up there and how you made it to Kentucky to swim here for college. Yeah, uh, so I, I was born and raised in Zimbabwe, um, went to school in South Africa, uh, and uh, then I was recruited to come to UK. Um, growing up in Zimbabwe, it was pretty similar to how I'd imagine growing up here in the States. Um, Obviously, you know, it's a third world country, so there are some other differences, but uh, pretty normal, normal childhood, I would say, yeah. And what does it feel like to represent your home country on an international stage? Yeah, it's an honor, really. Um, I, I've competed um, at international level before, but um, obviously nothing's like the Olympics, uh, so um, it's, it's a huge uh, honor. To, to be there for them. And you're actually one of only five athletes competing for your country compared to Team USA that sends hundreds. How do you think that makes your experience a little bit different? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, Zimbabwe doesn't have the athletic powerhouse or the, um, the resources behind athletics like um, a lot of countries. So um, it's very special. Um, you know, a lot of athletes in Zimbabwe um, are struggling financially and stuff. So to be able to go, to be able to uh, have the opportunity. Um, uh, I think it's really special because uh, the whole country is going to be looking at just five of us. You know, uh, really. Mm -hmm. Does that mean you have a certain star power or celebrity there right now? I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I, I uh, I've had so many messages on Facebook and stuff. So uh, I'm sure my parents are, are basking in the in the. In the <laughs> <laughs> and are you training there right now? Is that where you are right now in Zimbabwe? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm based here in Kentucky. Okay, awesome. So many changes to these games. Most recently, it was announced that there would be no fans there. How did you take that, uh, that news? It's a bit disappointing. Um, my, uh, my, throughout my college career, swimming at UK, I always loved the energy of the fans. So I'm sure it's going to be very different. But um, I guess we'll all be in the same boat. So it doesn't. Uh, it's not going to be any hindrance to me as much as it will be to anybody else. And how did Kentucky and swimming here prepare you for this moment? Oh, Kentucky made a huge difference. I uh, maybe wasn't in the position to, to qualify um, when I started UK, uh, but in the last four years, my uh, development has been huge, uh, um, especially in the last, I'd say, year and a half. Uh, under my coach, Michael Camper, uh, he he came to UK and started with the sprint group this last uh, year and a half. Um, and uh, that's been hugely uh, beneficial for me. You know? So if you're here training, how does that work? Does your coach uh, for Zim Zimbabwe like send you stuff to do? Have you gone over there to train at all? How does it work being kind of in a different location than the rest of the team right now? I entirely trained with the University of uh, Kentucky. So uh, my swim coach is the UK swim coach. Oh. Uh, I don't really, um, I'm not coached by a Zimbabwe coach. Um, so uh, my training is separate from uh, Zimbabwe, if that makes sense, yeah. Of course, so you're really representing the cats there. Are you excited, are you nervous? How are you feeling? I'm excited, I am nervous. Um, just this year we, we haven't had that many opportunities to compete, so um, I am nervous that um, I haven't got that race experience, but uh, I'm, I'm excited, very excited, yeah. I think everybody deals with nerves in different ways. How do you deal with it? I'm not sure if I deal with it well. Um, I usually, uh, you know, just try and think about small details and then the time, let the time pass. Awesome, Pete. Well, we're looking forward to watching you and good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. Loved getting to catch up with Pete and all the other Wildcats headed to Tokyo. And if you missed any of those conversations, you can check them all out at bbntonight.com. We'll be right back.